Hey everyone, is that alright? I thought we'd do something a bit different this evening. I finally worked out what I was doing wrong. All those times when, uh, in fact, a friend of mine helped me work it out. So these last few Sundays, uh, I've been doing something a bit funny. And uh, yeah, so just thought as a way of introducing things, you're welcome to evening prayers this evening for from St. Mag's Church community. Um, there's a whole bunch of you online already. Hi. Uh, Carrie Ann and Magdalene and Suzette, Virginia and Odette, John. Um, do you know what, Magdalene, I, I can't remember the name of the song. Um, I'll have to look it up for you, I'm afraid. Um, but it is, it's just a, a lovely little song to um, help people settle into uh, into prayers. Hi, hey, Jane and Dawn. Oh, there's lots of names. Richard and Mike, Anne, Adrian, Suzette. And Sue, yeah, you're really welcome. I'm looking at it on my phone. That's how I know, because I can't see the messages on this. Um, how's your day been? Uh, mine, um, mine's been good. Uh, I spent the afternoon at Daddy Hole Plain with some friends. Uh, we broke out and we um, socially distanced, of course, and uh, we had some uh, had uh, hot dogs from our van and uh, looked at the view. I didn't even know, I'd heard of Daddy Hole Plain, didn't even know the, what it was, and certainly didn't know the view that you could have over the whole bay. So that's been a revelation. It's been nice. Um, do let us know, uh, prayer requests, things that are on your mind this evening, things that you're giving thanks to God for. Um, we'd love to join with you in prayer or to um, give thanks for, for stuff. If you're watching this later on, um, you're, again, you're really welcome. If this is your first time or you're just kind of dipping your toe in this the water, then fantastic, great. It's very, very simple. We just gather together nine o'clock and nine o'clock, all except Sunday morning, which is when it's at 10, um, to spend some time as online community, to pray together, to reflect on a bit of scripture together. And, um, and we love it. And it's, um, it's, it's, good. it's a good time. It's important time. Um, and um, I'm just looking at messages. Suzette's had a mega blessed day. Good. I'm glad Joshua's been better because I know we were praying for that yesterday. Um, just his meltdowns you were talking about. So that's that's fantastic. Hey, John and Jane, you're very welcome. And Nicola. And Mel. Brilliant. Fantastic. So we're going to pray. Uh, I'm going to begin just whilst you get settled and um, get yourself comfortable, maybe breathing a bit deeper and relaxed and talk to God about the things that are on your heart. And I'm going to read a few verses from Psalm 145 and then we'll start. OK. This is a, a psalm which is a, an ancient sung prayer from probably about 7800 BC if memory serves and um, but still speaks to us today I will exalt you my God and King I will praise your name forever and ever every day I will praise you and extol your name forever and ever um, extol kind of make great your name great is the Lord and most worthy of praise his greatness no one can fathom. One generation commends your work to another and they tell of your mighty acts. They speak of the glorious splendor of your majesty and I will meditate on your wonderful works. They tell of the power of your awesome works and I will proclaim your great deeds. They celebrate your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. Aren't well, those lines wonderful? He says in here in the Old Testament, you know, the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love or abounding in love. And if you want any proof of that, we just look at the person of Jesus who uh, God in the flesh who came to show us 
what we couldn't see until Jesus came. We couldn't get our head around the nature of God and what he was like. And then Jesus came and said, if you've seen me, you've seen my father. I'm the exact, and Hebrews says that Jesus is the exact representation of the father. So it's, we come to Father God through the Son, by the Holy Spirit, if we're being really Trinitarian about it. Holy Spirit, we thank you that you gather us together in worship, in prayer. Thank you that you remind us right at the start of your great mercy and compassion. Thank you, thank you for your faithful love for us. I'm going to use some kind of celtic -y sounding prayers this evening, which uh, I use every so often. The evening mist rises from the ground to refresh our souls. The birds cease their songs, and in the darkening shadows of night, we come together in prayer. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Even when the darkness in our life brings us grief and our sins are heavy to bear, hear what the Lord says to us, to me and to you. Come to me, all you who labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I'd encourage you to give over anything in your life that, uh, or from today, that hasn't kind of borne the hallmarks of Jesus. That's maybe been self-centered, or, uh, or, well, allow the Holy Spirit to just put His finger gently on and say, "No." I've created you for, for even better than this. Let's talk about this together. And we, that's what confession is. We say, God, I'm sorry, will you come? And by your grace, enable me to live even better, to live differently. When Christ came on earth, he lived as a man who, know, who knew both hardship and despair. He knows our needs. Come to him now and lay your burdens at his feet and confess anything of which we're ashamed. Receive his gracious, compassionate love that we just read about. Eternal God, you have lowered the canopy of night and its gentle shadows cover us with your peace. May the dews of heaven heal our wounds and wash the tears from our eyes. May the burning light of Christ banish forever the darkness from our souls that we may be at peace. Eternal light shine in our hearts. Eternal goodness deliver us from evil Eternal power be our support. Eternal wisdom scatter the darkness of our ignorance. Eternal pity have mercy on us, that with our, all our heart and mind and soul and strength we may seek your face and be brought to your infinite mercy, to your holy presence. Before we carry on with more words, Father, I just pray that each of us watching now will become aware of your presence. Whether we're sitting alone or with others, 
whether we're changing a little one's nappy or sitting still and, rever and quietly, may each of us become aware of your presence. Amen. Well, I'm just spending a few moments uh, checking through for uh, prayer requests and things. Um, and so bear with me one second. Uh, so, uh, I know there was one or two. It's called UC by Jonathan Ogden. Cool. Thank you, Jane. I'd forgotten what it was called. Um, da, 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 I know there was a prayer request. Yeah, mega blessed Suzette, that's fantastic. Dawn, your mum needs more prayer. Poorly all night, curled up in bed. Oh man, okay. Let's pray for Dawn's mum. Um, Suzette, that was Psalm 145. Uh, you, you had your hands full, didn't you? Um, in case you're watching this on YouTube, the message was that she was changing a little one's uh, nappy at the time. Yeah, Marisan, you're right, 145. Hi, Paul and Rita. Yeah. Father, we pray for Dawn's mum. Uh, I, I confess, Dawn, I'm sorry. Uh, I confess I'm not quite sure uh, what's wrong with her right now. I'm sure I've been told, but uh, my memories let me down. Uh, Lord, I pray that whatever uh, circumstance she finds herself in, uh, that you will uh, be close to her and bless her and bring your healing to her. And spend some time praying for anybody that um, that you know that tonight might need God's God's comfort, God's. Uh, gracious and compassionate uh, love. Pray for those who, uh, your neighbours, your family, your friends. Ask God to reach out to them. And Lord, we join all of our prayers together in the words that Jesus taught us in the Lord's Prayer as we say together, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. And give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Some prayers to end our time with. And then I've got a couple of questions for you at the end. Kindle in our hearts, O God, the flame of love that never ceases. That it may burn in us, giving light to others. May we shine forever in your temple, set on fire with your eternal light, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Saviour and our Redeemer. Yes, Holy Spirit, we ask that you will make the fire of your love in our hearts burn brighter, that it will shine out to those around us, even through our imperfections, Thank you, we don't have to be perfect. Thank you that we are glorious works in progress. We 
Lord, may I be wakeful at sunrise to begin a new day for you, cheerful at sunset for having done my work for you, thankful at moonrise and under starshine for the beauty of your universe. And may I add what little may be in me to add to your great world. Amen. Amen. Well, folks, slightly shorter than normal, but that's okay. Um, uh, I'm just looking again at um, messages. Um, Dawn, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't remember that at um, more specifics. Ah, uh, okay. Thanks for the comments. Good. Good. Thank you for praying for each other and supporting each other and uh, for linking in. I think it's fantastic. Um, you know, this the, the me being the face and stuff, this is only part of it. It's actually what goes on in all the messaging and in the ringing and the private messaging and stuff and uh, supporting one another and praying for each other at other times. It's brilliant. And, um, and all the other people, the hundreds of people that get prayed for every day because we meet together uh, here is fantastic. So um, if you need to, God bless you, go into the rest of your evening. But I've got two questions for you. Um, now I've finally worked out what I was doing wrong with the software that I used at the start. Um, first of all, I'd be interested to know very simply, is the quality of the vision okay? Uh, is the quality of the sound okay and loud enough? Um, so that so vision and sound. And then I'm just going to flick on to something and I want you to tell me if this would be useful on Sunday. This is why this is why I've been wanting to um, to have this available on Sunday so that we can sing song words and um, so that we can have readings and stuff. Can you just tell me if you had that on your phone, on your tablet, is it big enough to read? Is it helpful? Is it clear? Okay, very simple. Quality of the video, quality of the sound, and whether you can see the these words. Um, we thought we'd leave a little window so that you can see Joe and I. Um, uh, thought that would probably be appreciated. Um, so let me know. What it, look, what it looks like, leave some messages, uh, just really helpful feedback. Don't, don't hold back. If it sounds awful or looks awful or the words are tiny and you can't read it, please say, that's why I'm asking for feedback so that we can either change it or ditch it or use it, all right? Um, good. Quality of both are good, excellent. Thank you. Supervision and sound. Words are good with glasses. Thanks, Dawn. Um, sound and vision good. I can see it. Sounds good. Words that good on the laptop. Yeah, I would imagine it would be better on the laptop. Uh, text good. Okay, that's cool. Thank you. Um, if if I could make it bigger, I, I would. But uh, it's not as easy as if I had someone else doing the vision and able to flick up lots and lots of. Uh, pictures and stuff like we do at church then of course we'd be able to do that but um it's me on guitar with joe at the moment so uh, so we'll go with simplicity all right uh cool enjoy the rest of your evening and um i'm gonna go ahead and have oh we didn't do to to all of you my good friends and whether i've met you in person or not god bless you a simultaneous sip. Apologies if you've either finished it or it's gone cold. And with that, I will wish you a very good evening. And I'm going to try and work out to stop this now. So it might take a second. Uh, yeah. Thank you. See you soon.